might make nine plans for 2022. Hello and welcome. I'm Akram Kagavi Breath, and you're watching Akram's Ideas, bringing creative and gravy ideas to life. I am coming to you today, sharing with you my Make Nine for 2022. So this is another one of my sewing resolutions is to get on the Make 9 bandwagon. And many of you may be familiar with the Make 9 challenge. Um, I believe it started back in 2014 or so. Rachel from Stitched Up uh, recently gave a little bit of backstory about the history of the Make 9 challenge in her own Make 9's plans video. And uh, if you want to know more about the where it all got started, I encourage you to go check out her video. But essentially the challenge is is that you pick nine patterns that you intend to sew for the year and sew them up. And as with many of the sewists out there, I have had varying levels of success with this. Uh, mostly I've outright failed many times. Um, the biggest challenge with this is that you're telling yourself you're going to make specific patterns at the beginning of the year. And we all know that new patterns come out all the time. What you thought you were going to need in your wardrobe in January may have changed um, throughout the year because of lifestyle, things that happen, places you need to be, uh, events. So you want to put your time invested in other things. So again, I have haven't really been doing the make nine for the last few years but but so this year I have been promised uh, a summer vacation we have not gone me and my husband have not gone on summer vacation um, a proper summer vacation until I would say since 2017 perhaps um, obviously we we've taken a little day trips here and there but of course the last two years we haven't been anywhere and last year was our 15th anniversary. And of course, we didn't really get to go anywhere or do anything. So this year, we have made plans. It's going to happen. We're going to go on summer vacation. We're going to go to the beach where there's water. And with that said, I know that there are at least nine things that I have to make before this summer vacation. So my make nine is a challenge to get everything that I need prepared for this trip in summer. So it's not even a full year long make nine. It's only a half a year because by summer I need these things done. And because I am indeed going on this vacation and these are things directly for that capsule wardrobe, you might say, I know that I'm going to be able to um, pretty much accomplish these nine items because I need them, I want them, and they have to be done. Now, the specific patterns may change a little bit, but I've made a list, and let me take a look at my list here, uh, of what it is I want to make. The very first item, which I'm going to try to get started um, before the end of the month, hopefully, is the Cal Calif Calvacade Travel Bag from So Sweetness. Now, this is a sort of carry-on bag. It's uh, really lovely. Uh, one of the things that I love about this bag is that it has the bottom part zips um, separately from the upper part. And I thought this is a great way to store shoes while traveling because obviously you're going to the beach, you're going to need um, sandals as well as, you know, maybe some canvas shoes, you know, some dress shoes if you're going to go to a nice dinner, and you want to separate those shoes out from like all your clothes and other things. And the bag is almost perfect size um, as far as the carry-on size. It's actually a little bit smaller. So I looked up the airline's requirements for the maximum size bag that you can have as a carry-on, and I really hate checking luggage. I'm always concerned that it's going to get lost. So I'm going to attempt to scale up this bag a few inches, not very much, uh, just a few inches so that it is, takes the maximum for the, 
for the travel for the carry-on and so that I can use it as my carry-on bag I'm gonna make two of these I'm gonna make one for myself and one for my husband so that we can put all our stuff in these bags um, I have some really nice uh, canvassy material I've got several yards of it it's kind of a deep blue I think I'm going to use that fabric I have not decided yet it really depends on how much fabric the bag takes I don't uh, specifically have this pattern as of yet but I plan to get it I believe it's only $15 and it comes with a full video sew along so you can't really beat that when it comes with a full video um, showing you how to make the bag I think that's excellent uh, value there um, I have a couple of so sweetness uh, she there there are several free patterns on their website as well that I I think the Baker Street bag and I don't know if I specifically have made that yet but uh, there are some several bags on the website that are just lovely and uh, this one I think will be excellent as the carry-on bag so that is number one on my list number two on my list is also a bag which I actually do own the pattern for this is the trailblazer convertible backpack purse by bag bag stock design I got this bag pattern uh, several years ago now I don't know even know how long ago but I got it for the intentions of using it as a travel purse um, for vacation uh, one of the main reasons is that it's the ideal shape of a purse uh, the style of purse that I typically carry but it has the convertible strap to make it a backpack so in case you're going on a hike or walking around town and you get tired you know you don't have to have it just strapped on one shoulder you can carry it as a backpack without it looking kind of like a backpack it looks more trendy more purse like and again if you switch back to the purse setting it looks really nice uh, sleek purse I am going to make that bag as well again I need to get on to that um, I don't know what fabric I want to use for it I don't know if I want to use more of a beachy theme travel fabric or if I wanted to match the um, carry-on bags I haven't decided yet Again, it's going to depend on what uh, fabric requirements it has. So, moving along from there, we're still kind of in the accessories mode. One of the things that I need for the beach is a giant sun hat. Now, I do have a lot of hats in my hat collection, but uh, all of my sun hats are more like straw hats. And I am leery about taking a big hat like that uh, on a plane, traveling. I don't want to crush the hat. So I thought what would be better would be a cloth hat. And just by happenstance in my stash, I found this lovely uh, pattern here, which is uh, 6431 Simplicity. This is from copyright 1974 of all things. Uh, but it is just a basic sun hat pattern. It's perfect. Uh, this white one here is probably something that I want to, to recreate. Um, it does not specifically say, but I think I'm going to be able to make it reversible. So I'm going to fully uh, line the entire hat and make it reversible. It's going to be a nice plushy soft hat so I can pack it in the luggage and it should still hold its shape and everything. Um, this may come near the end of all the projects because I want to make sure the hat matches all the outfits that I'm going to wear. Um, so choosing the fabric for the hat may come last after I've made everything so that I can determine whether or not it matches everything that I plan to wear. So moving on from there, uh, my husband has requested a couple of items for the vacation. Uh, one of which is a swim top, uh, just a little t-shirt made out of sort of like, mm, not necessarily scuba, but he's got these sort of exercise fabric where it's um, wicking and it's kind of thin. And uh, I think that uh, they're perfect for wearing for swimming as well. He's wanted some of those t-shirts. I have some of that fabric that I actually picked up um, at a Dallas trip uh, several years ago now um, to the big fabric outlets there in Dallas. And I got some of that fabric. Um, again, it's sort of a jersey knit that's got little holes in it. It's, it's a wicking fabric, so you don't sweat and stuff. And again, I think it'll be great for um, wearing... Uh, 
as a swim top because he burns like crazy. He's so pale. Uh, so he does need that. And I am going to use the Love Notions Dockside Tee for that pattern. Oh, one of the reasons is I actually used that pattern of, to make him a shirt for Christmas. Uh, he had a old navy shirt that he loved uh, that has, you know, fallen apart for for several years now that had a double sleeve so it has like a faux long sleeve and then a short sleeve over it so i used the dockside tee to recreate a similar shirt with his favorite little print of raccoons um and i made that for him over the christmas break for christmas and uh, the pattern pretty much fit him pretty well we made a size medium i think i need to um expand the shoulders ever so slightly just a little just by a hair, uh, make the shoulders a little bit wider. The medium overall fits, and it needs one inch of length on the sleeve if I'm doing the long sleeve. On the short sleeve, it's pretty much fine. So I am going to make a variety of those um, swim tops for him. The other item that he has asked for, and he's asked for this quite a while now, and I just haven't gotten around to it, is he wants some Hawaiian shirts. Um, men's Hawaiian shirts are pretty expensive. I mean, they can get up to uh, $45 or more if you want a nice quality Hawaiian shirt in a nice Hawaiian style print. So I have quite a few of Hawaiian style prints in my stash and I plan to make him uh, just, you know, a very simple camp collar type button down shirt with short sleeves. I do have the Presley shirt from the uh, Gertie's Charm Patterns Patreon, uh, which is a men's camp collar shirt, and um, I plan to make that for him. I don't know. I'm worried that it may be more fitted than he wants. It, he may want more of a uh, loose fitting shirt. So I'll make one of them. If that doesn't, if that isn't exactly the style that he's going for, I may end up using a simplicity pattern that I have in my stash for a similar type of shirt. Uh, but I'll at least make one just so I can test out the Presley pattern because I do have it and I am part of the Patreon. So, so far that's one, two, three, four, five patterns. So we're getting into our next four um, patterns that are all for me. So the first one, again, along the lines of shirts is the Love Notions Melanie Dolman. And I've had this pattern in my sash for a while now. I've been wanting to make it. I need to test the fit on it to determine what size is. Um, I feel like the the pattern instructions say that I should probably make a large. I feel like that's going to be too big. I could probably get away with a small, but I'm worried that it won't have the amount of ease for sort of a loose fitting shirt, you know, to put over a swimsuit and tie up and stuff like that. I might end up going with a medium. I'll have to play around with the sizing to determine uh, which of these sizes I want to make. Uh, but the Melanie Dolman, I'm definitely going to make. I'm going to probably make a couple of those. Uh, speaking of throw on uh, dresses and tops and things like that, I also recently got the um, Candice dress and top. I got this during the uh, Love Notions uh, year year sale, uh, New Year sale that they had recently. And this is basically just sort of a little shift top. You can make it with a little drawstring. I'm thinking of it as a sort of swimsuit cover-up. And one of the reasons I chose the canvas top as opposed to some of the other patterns is that it's made as woven. And I have a ton of woven fabric that I need to use up. Um, I do love making uh, sewing with knits and I have sewn with knits um, a lot over the last year. In fact, I'm wearing the uh, Sinclair Harper cardigan right here that I made with a beautiful French Terry um, from Walmart of all places. Uh, but... I don't have a lot of knits, so I do have a lot of cottons, and I need to use them for something. So I'm going to be making at least one, maybe a few more, uh, canvas uh, dresses to wear over um, the swimsuit. And my husband kept insisting that I needed to wear something sort of a billowy sleeve uh, top and he went through my little pattern stash and he determined that the Rhapsody blouse from Love Notions another This is very Love Notions heavy, heavy at the moment um, But the Rhapsody blouse would be a perfect um, Thing that he was thinking that would be nice in maybe a sheer fabric and I do have some lovely um, Sheer sort of nautical uh, fabric can't see that. Oh, there it is. I have some blue 
and white spot here uh, that might be beautiful inside the Rhapsody kind of as a throw over. He really liked the idea of making the Rhapsody dress as well so I might make a couple of blouses and a couple of dresses of the Rhapsody. I have made the Rhapsody last year. I think I made two of them. I do intend to make more. I love that pattern uh, but I have not made the dress yet so that might be a fun make. Uh, lastly, to go with all these tops, I, uh, I have a ton of shorts in my, uh, my wardrobe ready to wear shorts, so I don't really need those, but I did want a really nice pair of pants, and one of the things, um, about all of, all of this, uh, Make 9, is I don't plan to make the clothes for me until closer to summer. And one of the reasons is I am on a massive weight loss journey. I am trying to um, get down to a certain, uh, not necessarily a certain weight, but a certain shape. Um, I'm getting closer. I've been exercising quite frequently. Um, I, I've lost a lot of weight this last year in comparison to the year before. And I'm working towards, you know, that beach bod. Well, it'll never be a beach bod, but it's something that I will, will be okay to be seen on the beach, let's put it that way. Um, but in anticipation of that, I know my size is going to change. So when thinking about pants, I would prefer wearing pants that have an elasticated back because, again, I'm going to fluctuate between the time I make it and the time I'm actually out there. And um, a lot of the shorts, uh, the ready-to-wear shorts that I have are actually also paper bag waisted and stuff like that. They have the elastic waist. So it, it, it would suit me to make something along that um, style of elasticated waist. And there are many different types of pants that I could make. I really would like the idea of sailor style pants, so something high-waisted and wide leg. And I did a search online to see what I could find, and I came across the Petra pants from Closet Core Patterns. Now, I have only ever made, I think, one Closet Core pattern. I have the Jenny overalls. I do have the Caroline pajamas as well, but I haven't actually made those uh, pajamas. The Petra pants have the elasticated back waist, and one of the other amazing features about these pants is the pocket. The pocket sort of goes into this pseudo princess theme along the pants, and so it's really big. And so traveling and stuff, you know, you can put your phone or your, your wallet, all sorts of things inside the pants. And I think it would also look good um, because of that princess theme line there, I could line up a little uh, set of buttons to give that sailor pant look. So that is something that I plan to make. I do not have that pattern as of yet, so that's going to be later on down the road when I get a hold of that pattern. But these are the nine patterns that I plan to make for the Make 9 Challenge. Again, since I'm on a tight deadline to actually get these done before summer vacation, I think it's pretty doable. Um, before, a lot of times with the Make 9, these are just things that I want to make. There, there was no reason or push to make them other than saying that I was going to make them for this Make 9 Challenge. But since all of these are a part of sort of a capsule wardrobe uh, for this vacation, I think there is a pretty good chance that I will accomplish them and hopefully accomplish them uh, sooner rather than later. And we'll see how we do. You know, if I manage to uh, get all of these done, I might set up another Make 9 for the second half of the year. We will, we will see. We will see how it turns out and what all happens. So those are my Make 9 plans for 2022 uh, as part of my sewing resolutions. And as I mentioned in my last video with the sewing colors, I plan to hopefully uh, make all these garments for myself uh, that kind of align to my uh, colors. Again, um, this little... Uh, cardigan has again some of my lovely colors it's got the watermelon red and the pale pink which is um a part of my spring palette uh so with all that said i'd love to hear in the comments below if you are taking part in the make nine challenge i know that different people have different perspectives on it and do a couple of different things i'd love to hear what your take on the challenge is i hope you've enjoyed this episode of akram's ideas and thanks for watching